G'day, it's Aiden at Springer Solar. We're on the north side of Brisbane. We've got Powerwall and Powerwall 3 expansions today. This customer's got the full suite of Tesla products here. We've got Powerwall 3, three Powerwall 3 expansions and a Tesla charger. We've got roughly 20 kilowatts of solar using our favorite Canadian panels. Let's have a look. Here we've got the master Powerwall 3, 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage. These are the DC expansion modules. They're each also 13 and a half kilowatt hours. We've got 54 usable kilowatt hours here on site. From the outset, this customer was really keen on having a larger battery system. When he first bought the Powerwall 3, he knew that only that was gonna be available and he'd have to wait a little while. But this customer's intention was always to have a large solar system and make sure that he could run his house very sufficiently without the use of grid power. Blackout protection has been really nice for him too. So with the Powerwall 3 and the expansions, each Powerwall 3 can have up to three expansions, so that total of 54 kilowatt hours. You can have multiple Powerwall 3s on a site and add on additional units. Uh, that can get pretty crazy. So Powerwall 3 is a DC coupled system. So as we said, we've got roughly 20 kilowatts of Canadian solars on the roof. We're bringing that down in three strings and one parallel for anybody that's really nerdy about this. We've got then direct DC feed through from the master through to the slave units. We've got our gateway here, which gives us our blackout protection. This will island the house from the grid if the power goes down or if for some reason this customer just wants to flip his switch to show his mates that he's got power when they don't. So this is a great solution for single phase properties. Tesla only offer a single phase unit with single phase backup. So if you want a really sleek looking storage system with over 50 kilowatt hours of storage, this may be a great option for you. So I'm just gonna sneak in here and actually wanna show you some of the data from this system so that you can actually get a sense of how large a system is, how it's performing, and what some usage looks like on an average size two-story family home. This is live data from Tesla's app. We can see here, we've got some solar, power walls are full. Just remember that there's 50 kilowatt hours here and a little bit of usage here, some going out to the grid. Yes, yeah, so it's a cloudy day in Brisbane, but in saying that, this system is completely charged its batteries from solar. Uh, that's the beauty of that massive DC oversizing on this system, is to make sure that we've got charging happening when we've got adverse conditions. If we have a look over here in the graphs, you can see that these batteries depleted a little bit overnight. We've got some load here that's been well supported by the solar, but as soon as the solar tapers out, um, you know, those batteries are feeding every bit of energy through this house overnight all electric, so we've got some cooking, potentially some air con, and just general base loads overnight. And get back in the next morning and straight back into charging batteries. So on this site, if this customer was really smart about energy usage, he could almost go for an infinite amount of time. We've got to consider some weather patterns and whatnot, but overall looking at the data from this site, that as soon as he got those batteries charged, he's only ever gone down to 50% at the worst. We're about to hit storm season here in Brisbane. So this is gonna be an absolute lifesaver. We're already seeing blackouts now, so can't wait for some additional feedback from this guy. Enough from me, let's get back to this video. So if you're looking for Tesla products in Southeast Queensland, you could give us a shout. We are a Tesla certified premium installer. We know heaps about these products. We've got a solution for you. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you in the next one.